Madame Webb, Cassandra Webb, is a fictional character appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. She first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 210, published November 1980, and was created by writer Denny O'Neill and artist John Romita Jr. She is usually depicted as a supporting character in the Spider-Man comic book series. Where she appears is an elderly woman with myasthenia gravis, connected to a life support system resembling a spiderweb. Madame Webb was a clairvoyant and precognitive mutant who first showed up to help Spider-Man find a kidnap victim. She was not one of the mutants that lost their power during the Decimation storyline. She was attacked by Sarah and Anna Kravinoff, who killed her but not before she was able to pass her powers of precognition as well as her blindness onto Julia Carpenter, who became the next Madam Webb. Webb is the grandmother of the fourth Spider-Woman, Charlotte Witter. Dakota Johnson will play Madam Webb in an upcoming solo film set in Sony's Spider-Man universe. Publication History Madam Webb was created by writer Dennis O'Neill and artist John Romita Jr. and first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 210. November 1980. Fictional character biography. Cassandra Webb was born in Salem, Oregon. She is a paralyzed, blind, telepathic, clairvoyant, and precognitive mutant allowing her to work as a professional medium. She was originally stricken with myasthenia gravis and was connected to a life support system. Designed by her husband Jonathan Webb, which included a series of tubes shaped like a spider web, when Spider-Man approached her to help. Find kidnapped Daily Globe publisher K.J. Clayton. Actually an impersonator. Madam Webb used her powers to help him locate and rescue both the real and the fake Clayton, but disclosed to him that she had divined his secret identity. In the, Nothing Can Stop the Juggernaut, story arc, she contacts Spider-Man for assistance when Black Tom Cassidy dispatches the Juggernaut to capture her in the hope that her psychic powers would help them defeat the X-Men only for her to nearly die after Juggernaut separated her from her life support system. This triggered a vicious fight between Spider-Man and the Juggernaut, who was subsequently trapped in a construction site's wet cement foundation, from the shock to her system. However, Madam Webb apparently lost her memory of Spider-Man's secret identity. Webb is the grandmother of the fourth Spider-Woman. Charlotte Witter. She participates in an arcane ritual known as the Gathering of the Five. Gaining immortality. She is restored to youth and her myasthenia gravis is cured. Webb serves as a mentor of sorts to the third Spider-Woman. The young Matty Franklin. Madam Webb resurfaced. And her psychic powers are intact after decimation. However, since House of M in which she did appear young. She seems to have regained her aged appearance. Though the myasthenia gravis remains gone. This could indeed be taken as an effect of decimation. Madame Webb again returns in a backup feature. In The Amazing Spider-Man No. 600. She looks into the future. Showing what are apparently quick looks into Spider-Man's future only to see someone unraveling the web of fate and fearfully exclaiming, they're hunting spiders. After that, she is attacked by Anna Kravinoff and her mother, Sasha. The pair incapacitate her and then claim, we now have our eyes. She is seen still captured by Anna and her mother as they inspect their new quarry, Matty Franklin, while still bound in a chair. She apologizes to a then unconscious Matty, who is later killed by Sasha Kravinoff, at the conclusion of Grim Hunt. Madame Webb has her throat slashed by Sasha Kravinoff in retaliation, 
as Sasha believed that Madame Webb was deceiving her and knew the outcome of the events that transpired. Before dying, she reveals she is no longer blind, and passes her psychic powers over to Julia Carpenter, during the dead no more. The clone conspiracy storyline. Madame Webb was cloned by the Jackal. She tipped off Prowler about a bank robbery vision she had which he managed to stop the bank robbery. When Prowler goes to get more information on the hacker from Madame Webb, she tells him that she sees buildings filled with agony that cannot escape. When the villains at New U Technologies are getting out of control, Jackal sends Electro to find Prowler to put them under check again. Electro goes to Madame Webb's room and tortures the telepath into giving her Prowler's location with the intent to kill him. Julia Carpenter senses that Madame Webb is alive from telepathic feedback resulting from Electro's attack. Julia infiltrates New U Technologies and uses the opportunity to investigate the near-abandoned facility. During this time, Julia is led to Madame Webb who refuses to take her medication to aid her in healing from Electro's attack. Madame Webb has seen the future and refuses to be a part of it. Before dying from clone degeneration, Madame Webb tells Julia to save Prowler. Powers and abilities. Madame Webb is a mutant who possesses psychic sensory powers including telepathy clairvoyance, prescience, and the ability to sense the presence of psionic powers in others. She can also perform psychic surgery and appear to others in spirit. Astral. Form. She has a gifted intellect. When dying, she displayed the ability to transfer her mutation to another individual. Julia Carpenter. As well as her blindness, Madame Webb was a victim of myasthenia gravis, a disorder of neuromuscular junction transmission. As a result, she was an invalid, entirely dependent on external life support for survival. This is no longer the case as she was cured of the condition some time ago. She is also blind. Madame Webb is cybernetically linked to a spider web like life support chair which attends to all of her bodily needs. Other versions. A version of Madame Webb makes a brief appearance in the heroic fantasy world of Avatars. Covenant of the Shield is the Widow of the Web. A spider goddess who grants Webswinger. The Spider-Man parallel. His powers. Webb also appeared during the House of M storyline as a therapist employed by Shield. Madam Webb died in the MC2 universe. But her reputation has inspired an entire temple of prophetic acolytes. Madam Webb appeared in Ultimate Spider-Man. In issue number 102. She is part of the psych team that plans to change Ultimate Spider-Woman's memories. She appears in a wheelchair. Implying paralysis. And blind. Similar to the classic version. However, she is younger than that version of the character. In other media, television, Madame Webb appears in Spider-Man, the animated series, voiced by Joan Lee. This version is an ally of the Beyonder with similar powers over reality tasked with testing Spider-Men from across the multiverse to determine whether they can stop Spider-Carnage from destroying the multiverse. After the Prime, Spider-Man succeeds in the mission. Madam Webb takes him to find his lost girlfriend Mary Jane Watson as a reward. The Julia Carpenter version of Madam Webb appears in Ultimate Spider-Man. Voiced by Cree Summer. Introduced in the episode, Agent Webb. This version is an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. who uses her link to the web of reality to predict the future for Nick Fury. In the four-part episode, Return to the Spider-Verse, she works with Doctor Strange and Iron Fist to open a portal to the multiverse so Spider-Man and 
Kid Arachnid can collect the Siege Perilous fragments after it was scattered across several alternate dimensions in a previous episode. Film. In September 2019. Sony announced that a Madam Web solo film is in development with Burke Sharpless and Matt Sazama. Writing the film. Which will be part of the Sony's Spider-Man universe. On February 2, 2022. It was announced that Dakota Johnson will play the character. Video games. Madam Web appears in the Spider-Man Quest Probe game. Madam Web appears in Spider-Man. Shattered Dimensions. Voiced by Suzanne Blakesley. After Spider-Man breaks the tablet of order and chaos. She informs him of its mystical properties and orders him. Spider-Man Noir. Spider-Man 2099. And a black-suited version of the ultimate Spider-Man to retrieve its pieces in their respective universes before supervillains find them. She also provides instructions to the Spider-Men about their powers and grants them new ones so they can complete their mission more easily. However, Mysterio takes her hostage after discovering a fragment he stole granted him magical powers and demands the Spider-Men give him the rest with the tablet reassembled. Mysterio becomes a godlike being and attempts to alter reality to his liking. But Madam Web is able to bring the four Spider-Men together so they can defeat Mysterio and separate him from the tablet. Once they succeed, she sends everyone back to their respective home universe. References. External links. Madam Web at the Marvel Universe Wiki. Madam Web's profile at spidervan.org. Madam Web's profile at the Women of Marvel Comics. Madam Web on Marvel Database. A Marvel Comics Wiki.